Well, up to 100 feet of shoreline will disappear around the state if sea levels rise just one foot. Now, that's according to the University of Hawaii scientist who also studied why beach erosion is more pronounced on Maui than Oahu. KITV4's Justin Fujioka here with more on this new research. Justin. Paula Yanji, we know that sea levels have been rising for more than 100 years, and now UH researchers have discovered that it's the most important reason for coastal erosion in Hawaii. Waves, wind, and rain. Sure, the weather plays a role in coastal erosion, but a pair of UH geologists have found the key factor is sea level rise, and it's going up faster in Maui than Oahu. The Big Island is pushing down on the uh, Pacific Plate, and there's kind of a moat that goes around there. Maui is closer to that, and so it's sinking a little faster. And as you move away to Oahu, it's not sinking at such a, at such a fast rate. But overall, Brad Romine of the UH Sea Grant Program and Chip Fletcher of the School of Ocean and Earth Science and Technology say at six inches a century, sea level rise in Hawaii is not as fast as the global average of one foot. They say it's because winds in the Pacific help to push a lot of water to the west of us. Still, we shouldn't let our guard down. It's been predicted that sea level rise uh, will be on the order of one foot by mid-century and three feet by the end of the century. And with this new research, we know this rise will play a significant part in eroding Hawaii's shores in the decades ahead. So it'll help with management decisions for managing beach erosion problems around the state. Um, we can start to focus our effort a little bit more on where sea level rise might impact some of our beaches. In the end, when it comes to beach erosion and sea level rise, there's no magic wand. Uh, the number of tools that you have at your disposal for managing the problem is very limited, and typically they're very expensive. Fletcher and Romine say researchers work hand in hand with the state's Department of Land and Natural Resources to develop management tools in coastal retreat, adaptation, as well as renourishment. Unfortunately, they say they have no erosion data just yet for Kauai or the Big Island.